Well, howdy, friends and neighbors. How y'all doing? Well, it's a mighty fine day here in the Ozarks. Welcome back to Missouri Backwoods. Hey, we're going to do ourselves another mystery tackle box. We got this in the mail. We got time to open it up. I think this is the time right now. Hey, but before I do, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button. Look forward to that subscriber giveaway. We're going to be doing that here real soon. I think we're up to 43 or so, 44, 45. We're about halfway there, I'd say. We need to get to the other half. Let's get that other half in. Let's get that 100 subscriber mark made. Let's get that hat sent out. We're going to throw a few extras in there for uh, for that one lucky winner. Maybe, uh, maybe a hook, you know. We got the hook, right? Maybe we'll do something like that. Maybe we'll do uh, some kind of a some baits or something i've got some soft plastics i picked up from uh bps catalog outlet store uh i'll throw a link to uh to that video Boop, right there all right i'll uh hit that uh, oh hey that subscriber uh giveaway i better put the uh link to that one in there too huh hey let's put that one Boop, right up there as well all right hey without any further ado Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get on with the box. All right, let's see what we got. It sounds like it's happy. All right, let's see how happy it is. All right, well, what do we got? Oh man, I love the sticker, the sticker. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Would you just look at that? That looks amazing. Where are we gonna put this? I don't know, maybe we'll put it on the back of the truck. I don't know. We'll figure something out. So, let's set the sticker up there. Hey, you got to get this. You got to read this. Every time you get one, pull it out, read it. Do the little uh, crossword. Is that a crossword puzzle type thing here on the back? Uh, find the word search. You know, that thing. Yeah, okay. Do that. Hey, oh, there it is. It's the menu. All right. We got a few things on the back. Uh, make sure you read those. All right. Um, now, what do we got here? Lucky craft. We got a lucky craft. We got a uh, Strike Pro. We've got a, a Carl's. Uh, oh, I can't wait to pull this one out of the box. The Runt. <laughs> I've been waiting for a Runt. Thank you, uh, Carl's Baits. I love it. I love it. Oh, and a spinner bait. I love doing a spinner. It's a good time. Springtime. Throwing those uh, slow rolling spinner baits. Awesome way to catch the fish up here on the Upper James. Oh, it looks like we've got a. Uh, oh, we've got some plastics to go on that. And we even got a hook keeper. So let's go all through it. All right, it uh, we'll start at the top. Lucky craft. Where's it? Oh, there it is. So bam. All right, we got the lucky craft. Now this here is a square bill. I don't know how well that's showing up. I hope that focus is in there. Good color for the springtime. All right, kind of a greenish, uh, kind of a green pattern with uh, some good. Uh, I don't know if you call that opalescence. It's kind of a clear plastic bait. Now this runs silent if I'm not mistaken. It does look like it has a ball bearing in it though. So I'm kind of confused on that, whether it's going to be silent or not. We'll have to uh, get her out and play with that one. But that Lucky Craft is a definite, definite must have on the boat all year round in my opinion. But uh, definitely springtime, tearing it up, whether you're just trying to cover water or you're trying to rip it through some cover, this one's going to go through it well. Either way, great lure to have on deck at all times. All right, what do we got up here next? The Strike Pro. All right, this one is a little different. Now, I got to tell you, I'm a little unsure on this. I've never thrown anything like this. Um, I've done a, uh, well, let's just pull it out and take a look. All right, now, you see how it's all nice and tight together right there? Well, when you pull it out, you'll notice... It's got some extremely wide gaps between those uh, joints there. It's got some smaller hooks on it. I don't know if I'd want to increase that. It does say that it sinks. It is a sinking bait. It's got a really good color, though. I really, really like the paint job on this. That head on it's super realistic. And it's got this kind of a unique plastic rubbery tail that does appear to be removable because, well, there it is. They, uh, they add an extra one inside there for us, so I'm not saying they're, uh, they make a product that's going to fall apart, but I'm sure for some reason this must get tore up a lot, so they threw in an extra. Don't know if that's something you can get more of. Once you're going through those two, you're gone, or if you're done, 
or can you get more of them or you just got to buy a new bait and at uh, ten dollars and ninety fifty nine cents for this bad boy right here i don't know we'll have to see what kind of value what how that works out so let's go ahead and set that uh aside here all right and what's up next we have the runt okay now this has been one that i have been looking forward to i've seen some guys uh matter of fact i think it was the guggen squad that uh uh ap bassin might have been the one i think was out oh there went the license plate there uh this one right here let's go ahead and get this out now this one comes in a couple of different colors I'm not sure exactly what they call this color, but it's kind of a dark bluish purple color on the top. I call them tiger stripes. Maybe, maybe I'm calling it wrong. I don't know. It's got uh, kind of a dark colored red eye, kind of a square type bill. This one here dives, I'd say about three foot. However, if you slow roll this, maybe on some spinning, uh, spinning tackle with some light braid, maybe a fluorocarbon leader, you could probably walk this uh, across and do kind of like a a wake bait maybe with it nice and slow you could pull it down just underneath the water table it uh kind of a versatile not really a top water but you could probably fish this more in the morning time i would say as a top water type pattern so really looking forward to that i'm thinking i might be able to get out tomorrow morning and i want to take this box with me now all right now we got kind of these next three pieces all kind of go together in my opinion. Um, these, uh, well, it's this, it's that. It is the spinner bait. All right, now this is a smaller spinner bait that I'm used to throwing. So I won't be able to use this on my uh, my big heavy stick that I normally use for my uh, spinner baits, but it's got smaller little leaves. Is that silver too? No, it looks like it's got a kind of a goldish, a larger, well, that's larger of the two, we'll say. A gold willow and then a silver willow, kind of smaller. It's uh, that chartreuse and white. Now, you will notice that the skirt hangs down quite a bit past the hook. Now, like I said, the next three pieces kind of go together. And this is what I mean by that. This right here, absolute must if you're fishing spinner baits. Anybody that knows that has fished a spinner bait knows that, you know, they like to come up and they swat at it. They don't always commit. However, when you put that on the back, which is your little um, trailer hook, I like the way they have this one set up. It's got a little kind of a plastic piece on the back that uh, allows that to kind of help stay on the spinner bait. Now, what you do is you, first of all, make sure you're putting it on right, okay? Uh, make sure your hook's up. You just kind of peg that right through the plastic just like that. There we go. That'll sit on there. And then that way, you'll see that that hook comes just past that skirt. That kind of makes it nice. Now, here's the third piece, most important part, I think, on the back side. A lot of people uh, fail to use these, but I really think it makes a difference. I really do. Now, these, they are amazing. I tell you, some people call that smell disgusting. Me, I call it amazing. It has a heavy, heavy salt, garlic, kind of a funky, funky, funky kind of smell. Just mm, good enough for me to eat. But with that there, you've kind of got the yellowish belly there. You got the kind of the gray uh, top on that. Real nice little shad pattern with this attached to this. All right. This here makes a great, great little trailer. So putting that on just like so, all right. I'll uh, actually, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how I would rig this. Now, if you think I'm doing it wrong, you go ahead and leave a comment in the box and uh, let me know, all right? But this is how I would do it. I would go on this trailer hook and I'd bring that right down like there. Yeah. I'd put that right on there like that. There we go, just like that. 
and that is how I would fish it. Now, with that, now if you think I'm doing it wrong, maybe I need to put this onto the other hook. Do you uh, do me a favor? Hit me up in the comment section. You know, leave a comment. Tell me how you would uh, rig this up if you do it any different. Um, I really uh, have had a lot of success with my spinner baits using it like this. Makes a real nice profile. It goes through the water real nice, and they uh, they definitely hit this hard. So that would be all of our little prizes we got here in our mystery tackle box for this here particular month this would be the month of june so uh all right let's go ahead and stick these back in here do not forget to stick your soft plastics back into their ziploc baggies all right that is so important i see so many of my buddies that uh, leave these bags open or they leave their baits out and they dry up and they lose their stink and their stench and really you need to keep the stench and the stink in there that's an important part you know, they don't just come that way for the heck of it. They come that way for a reason. So, all right, we've got the uh, trailer hook. We've got the little bitty spinner bait there, a little quarter ounce spinner bait. All right, we got the trailers for that. So that concludes all of the bad to the bone baits we got here in our MTB box for the, the month of June. We're going to take these baits out tomorrow uh, and we'll get ahead and we'll go ahead and put some line behind them dangle them out and see what we can't do so hey you guys uh hope you enjoyed this video hit that there uh like button smash it down for me just crush it all right hit that subscribe button if you ain't already done so hey do yourselves a favor be good to one another would you peace